morning everybody, this is Arthur again. So today I'm in Kyoto and uh, it's going to be a very chill vlog, just going to walk around. I got some recommendations from locals, some Brazilian people that live here, so they told me some very nice place to take a look. It's going to be a day of a lot of walking and yeah, just gonna show you around. So I just arrived in Kyoto and I already came to Fujiri Inari, which is a uh, Temple, and the first thing you're going to see in Kyoto is kind of uh, organized chaos. As you can trust me, when I say it's a lot of people, it is crazy. You're not going to be able to make your pictures alone, but it's nice to see. This has been another Good experience of filming yourself in public it is funny people look at you <laughs> and the thing is here there's more people that speak English so there's uh, there's way more tourists so people really understand you and yeah it's a weird feeling but it's fun anyway <laughs> done with the walk you can spend I think the complete day walking in this mountain now I'm heading down to the bottom and I want to find something to eat maybe a quick bite and then go to another place now I'm going to Kyomizu Dera it's another temple so I've been uh, going around here with the metro train and also bus it's pretty easy if you use uh, Google and yeah just make sure you have cash because not everywhere accepts uh, credit cards, so... impression but like I said it's a very chaotic place and I do not like a very crowded place so I went for the two temples and that was quite nice some different stuff to see but I decided to call it a day already because I had enough of walking and the crowded places really is not something for me so I've been traveling for quite a lot now it's been one month since I've been traveling so I wasn't able to go to the gym in these days and now I want to get this out of my list and just get back on track. Let's go. That's it, I have just finished dinner. It was a Japanese restaurant, those ones where they cook in front of you. They had a cup of course, I think it was five. There were some Japanese people sitting on my side and they love to talk about Brazil, what they know about the soccer players and all that stuff. So yeah, it was a fun dinner for sure. It was a nice experience. So now I just want to go for a quick walk relax a little bit and try to get a good night of sleep because tomorrow I want to get up early and uh, yeah do some more sightseeing I want to go to a bamboo forest which is quite famous around here and also see some more temples 
Let's go. See you tomorrow. I started the day very easy, very slowly. Had a <laughs> breakfast in the hotel, and now I'm going to the Arashiyama Bamboo Forest. <laughs> so this is what I enjoy. I found a place close to the bamboo forest where you can enjoy more the walk. There's way less people. You're not bouncing people all the time. So pretty cool place. golden temple and I think that will be it for the day last destination and then gonna head back to Osaka because tomorrow I have to get the flight back to Amsterdam yo about to finalize the trip now in Osaka and I will probably meet a friend of a friend tonight just to go eat something have a drink and get ready to go away tomorrow guys just had a very nice dinner with a friend we met uh, previously in Tokyo and uh, she took me out uh, to eat some sushi and it was absolutely incredible I think I'm confident to say it was one of the best sushis I, I've ever had the tuna was incredible normally I don't eat tuna when I go out for sushi but it was crazy good so that's it for the Japan trip it was very exciting again and see you next time <laughs>